it's the underdog here, and I wanted to discuss Duck Hunt Duo's Little Max 0% KO move. I've been wanting to do the main KO move for some time, but because I'm presently very busy, I don't have the time, so I've decided to do a short video describing how to do Duck Hunt Duo's most dangerous move, the Little Max 0% KO move, or 0% KO move for short. This move is confirmed to kill Little Mac, as you already guessed, at 0%. This is regardless of which stage, as long as it's a stage with a drop zone. For example, a place where Little Mac has to use his aerial recovery move. I've already used it multiple times in Full Glory, which we will see as an example in a later part of this video. The move will also force other characters besides Little Mac, if you can put it off against them, who have poor airtime, to mandatorily jump and up B, which allows you to execute the footstool into down air or angular stage back air attack. Note this only works against other characters on non-walled stages, otherwise the opponent will simply wall jump. Little Mac is the only one it will kill at 0% without any further work regardless of the type of stage, so long as it has a drop zone. So how do you do the 0% KO move? Firstly, let's explain how it works so it's easy to understand why. The 0% KO move exploits Duck Hunt Duo's most dreaded glitch, the slide glitch. The slide glitch is where, instead of the opponent being launched into a KO, this happens regardless of what percentage they are at, 0 or 999%, they are instead slid backwards, hence the name slide glitch. If this occurs whilst the opponent is airborne, such as with an up smash or down smash, instead of sliding like with the forward smash, they instead glide through the air. Most times they glide only a short distance, but in rare instances the down smash will send opponents gliding very far. The Little Mac 0% KO move uses the same principle, but instead of Little Mac falling to the ground, he goes gliding through the air and off the stage. Now for most opponents they can simply recover by a combination of jumps and up B, but because Little Mac has the worst airtime possible, he cannot, and thus it becomes a guaranteed 0% KO. So how do you do the move? Firstly, you must be optimally positioned. There's only a limited place where you can do the move as indicated in the video. This is because you need Little Mag as near the edge as possible to ensure he's launched too far away from the stage to recover, and because the edge itself is necessary in order to force Little Mac and Duck Hunt into the optimal position. Secondly, only Charge Punch and Side B Punch are confirmed to work. It may work with other moves, but it's either too difficult or requires too fast reactions for me to discover. Which means in order for it to succeed, Mac must be doing one of the two above moves. It is theoretically possible to up-tilt Mac into a down smash gliss regardless of what state he's in, but the poor hit detection of up-tilt plus directional influence makes it risky. Thirdly, you must not power shield. Power shields and non-power shields have different properties. Although power shields are highly resistant to breaking, except against multi-hit moves, they also mean your character does not move. In order for this to work, you have to move with Little Mac while shielding, so you're optimally positioned, and that requires a non-powered shield. As a Kavat, it's less likely to succeed at higher percentages because a non-powered shield is more likely to break, from Little Max Punch, because of course the higher percentages means generally speaking a weaker shield. Fourthly, the timing on which to do the Dow Smash is narrow. This is because the game will push your character back out, which will realign the Dow Smash, thus preventing the slide glitch. It's also because a fast reaction Little Mac might try to escape. Thankfully, the excessive cooldown on both moves presents the latter. The precision demanded is high, but so is the reward. This is Shorts knocking off a stock from Little Mac, who is often considered a difficult fighter for Duck and Duo players to handle. It also forces Little Max not to use Scythe B or Charge Punch, especially if they are near the edge, which can be an added bonus. Anyway, I hope this video helps you, and I'll see you next time.